Hey, what's going on guys? John here. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a simple lower third in After Effects. The things to keep in mind while designing lower thirds inside After Effects. I'm going to go through the very beginning, creating some type of background, and then we'll add text. We'll go over some text protocols, some animation, best practices, and hopefully by the end of this, you'll have some ideas that you can play with when creating your own lower thirds template. So let's dive in here. I'm inside Adobe After Effects. What we're first gonna do is go to Composition, New Composition. We're gonna name this Dash Lower Third Template. Make it however you wish. Usually for the duration, I usually do just 10 seconds because most of the time lower thirds aren't that long eight to 10 seconds is usually good, depending how long the name is. Then click OK. And we'll toggle the transparency grid, that way we can see through it, just see the lower third that you're working on. All right, so the first thing when designing a lower third is you have to make the background. This can be a lot of different things, but in most cases, what I do in After Effects is just create a shape layer. So grab your rectangle tool and first toggle on the title safe grid. So you'll wanna make sure lower third text is inside the title grid here. So what we'll do is we'll just make a box and that'll be our lower third background. And you can change the fill, the stroke above, you know, match the colors how, when, whatever way you want for your own project. You don't have to have a stroke, you don't have to have a fill. You know, you can design it however you wish, but usually there's some type of background to separate the text from the image. I'll show you one example where you don't use the fill. So we'll leave the fill transparent, but what we'll do here is actually go to stroke, turn it off. And instead we're gonna add an effect. We'll bring up the lovely Video Copilot shortcut and we'll type in gradient ramp and what this does is add a ramp which is a nice way to add some depth to the lower third you know it doesn't make it look too flat so say if your main color is blue you could do maybe a navy blue and maybe a little lighter blue so using that example we'll choose blue we'll swap the colors this will be I believe this thing is the darker color and this is a lighter color. So you can kind of see how that works. So you got a nice contrast there, some nice depth, and we're ready to start adding text to it. So the thing to keep in mind when designing a lower third is you wanna work on what does it look like before you start animating it. This is important because you wanna have that final frame of what it's gonna look like in the end, and then you can kind of work backwards and start animating it. So before we get to animation, we have to make sure we add in the text and that everything looks correct before we start animating it. So next, grab your text. And for most lower thirds, there's a name and a title. So we'll just make a name, select it. Uh, you can choose all caps, no caps. The thing uh, to keep in mind in designing the text for the lower third is that most of the time, if it's a long name, uh, having text caps turned off helps conserve space. So if you, you're working with an Excel sheet or something that has a lot of long names, you might not want, not want to turn on all caps. So we'll uncheck that, scale it up, make sure it's left aligned, grab the selection tool, move it down here. And to make life simple, we'll just duplicate the layer by hitting Command D, move it down, size it down a little bit, we can change a different, a different case. So it's a little thinner, name it title. Can make it a little smaller, position it accordingly. And there it is. We've got our name and our title. So say this is the way we want it to look. So a thing that we can do now is start animating it. So what I like to do is work on the background first and then the, the text. So what we'll do is we'll bring up the position. 
And what I do most of the time is separate the dimensions because in most cases you'll be working either on one axis or the other. And most of the time either I just slide it in or slide it up. So you can pick whichever one you want. I'll do a uh, slide in, so Y, so X, make a keyframe, make another keyframe, go back, position it off. And you got that coming in. We'll add some easies by selecting the two keyframes, hit function F9 if you're on a Mac. Go to the graph editor, select the X position, zoom in here, we'll add basically, we'll make it so that it speeds up at the beginning but slows down in the end. So you kind of have that going on. And it's a little quick, we're gonna extend this maybe out to a second. There we go, that looks good. And next, the text. So what I like to use is Animation Composer to do simple text expressions. You know, the controls are the controls are already made for you and you just drag and drop it on the text layers. And if you want, down in the video description below, I have a link to how to install and use Animation Composer. So you can go ahead, watch that video, come back to this one. Um, in this case, it's already installed, so I'm just gonna open it up and drag an effect uh, in on the text layers. So before we do that, what we're gonna do is trim the beginning of these text layers because essentially you want it to start animating right when it settles there. So we'll just select the name layer and the title layer, and we'll hit option open bracket to kinda trim it so that the layers start right there. You can even offset the title so the title comes in a little later as well. So to add the animation, make sure the name is layer is selected, go to window, Animation Composer. Now I'll open up this guy in a new window, and we'll just drop down Transition Presets, go into the Text folder, drop down under Animated Characters. Let's do Scale, Basic. One of my favorites is this one, Scale Characters from Start 4. Drag and drop as Apply As In. And Play it back, you got that, which is nice. It's a little slow, but you know, once there's a name there, it'll look faster. So we can just speed it up a little bit. Very good. And what I like to do with titles is similarly, but instead of using scale, use the fade in. So we'll drop down fade, basic, apply those in. So that gives a nice clean look for the lower third template. So we're done using Animation Composer. We'll close that panel. We'll collapse all of these so we can see what we're looking at here. Very good. Let's dress up the background a little bit. Uh, a popular effect that I see a lot in lower thirds is basically generating a flare where you kind of see like a little uh, flare come across the bottom. And I'll show you how to do that inside After Effects here. So with the shape layer selected, go to Effect, Generate, Light Sweep. And if we drag the center down, you can kind of see what I mean here. And you can change the direction of it. So maybe something like that, or maybe 45. Uh, you can change the width so you can make it bigger. The edge intensity, which is that guy. Edge thickness. What I like is to turn down sweep intensity. So that takes out the middle and only leaves like the beveled edge. And if we toggle transparency, you'll see what I mean. So you can see it kind of adds like a glow to that. And if we keyframe the center essentially and make it start off, zoom out. Now we'll just keyframe it, go forward in time, move it out. This is kind of what we have here. So we've got like a thing coming across. And you see these a lot on the news and different areas, so it's a very common lower third type of an effect. 
you can add as many as these as you want to it. You know, and you can get as creative as you want with lower thirds, but these are some of the just basic practices that I've come across when designing lower thirds. Cool, so we got that going on. Let's work on the out. And you know, since we have to animate all of these layers out, what I usually like to do in After Effects to animate the whole thing out of frame is create a null object, parent these layers to that, and then animate the null object. So I'll show you how to do that here. So in the composition, go to Layer, New, Null Object. And I'll make a new null object. You can even name these layers too. So we'll rename the null object Animate Off. That way we know what it's doing. And then what we'll do is select all these layers, get the parent pick whip tool and link it to the animate off layer. And then probably at the eight second mark, untwirl position. And similarly, you can right click and go to separate dimensions. And maybe we'll do Y this time and go out to one second to about nine seconds in and position that out. And similarly, we'll just add some easy ease and probably start slow and fast. So it kind of snaps out like that. There we go. A few closing remarks here uh, upon completion. You'll want to make sure if you're designing a template like this, that you keep in mind the longest name and title. You know, this will save headaches when you're designing later and here you get a very long name and it doesn't fit in the template that you're designing. You know, having that longest name and title ahead of time, you can kind of design around that and all the other lower thirds should line up and still look okay within this. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope it's helped you and kind of sparked some ideas. If you're looking to design just a simple lower third in After Effects, uh, feel free to like and subscribe to the channel to see more of these short, simple tutorials such as this one. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.